Doom, he is going to keep sticking with her. Oh no, he is going to be no, going. No, he's Ryu gonna go Ryu right for the first game. Um, okay. Not surprising. I know in the past when DSS have, and Lucas have played, uh, it was actually very close. And uh, DSS actually picking up a win previously before too. That's right, yeah. I believe it was at a weekly down in SoCal. No, it was at uh, one of the sagas. One, one of the sagas, sagas. okay. Yeah, okay. one of the sagas. I like right now the way that uh, both of these players. I are thought it was a hand control. warmer at first, but it just no. looked like they're just playing very patiently. The only reason I'm saying hand warmers is in the beginning. Uh, we had a Hadoken, I mean a Hadoken, a Shoryuken coming out from Locust. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean I guess we only need is just make sure the Shoryukens work, right? But right now DSS finding his first opening. Oh, getting a grab right out of the focus to keep the train going. Oh, Wait for the air balloon. dodge. That was really good DI though by Locust. Oh no, that's oh, down there. Oh. That is free, but that is Meta Knight as well. He's gonna come back up there, and I like that from DSS, not trying to risk anything, getting clipped by the shore. You can just jump going back on stage. Mm -hmm. Oh, up tilt, jumped up. Ooh, yes. He's not gonna get the full hit though. Ooh, but yeah. he is gonna run into that EX fireball. Unfortunately, stuff. DSS now sitting at 93%, looking for that dash attack and gonna get punished right away. The glute hitbox of Ryu, the sour spot on that fair, is actually an incredible tool for him just because he can follow up into down air or like you just saw it for a kill, follow into shore you can. Ooh, actually following up on the cross up of the dash attack. Keeping things rolling, but once again, DSS finds a grab, but these are the awkward Ooh, but he's going to get wow. that forward smash instead, hitting Locust right out of there, sitting at 51% now. Man, and he actually caught Locust right out of the attack of his focus, too. That was nuts. Yeah, no, well, caught him out of the drift. He understood that Locust was already going towards the right to try to cancel it out to get that ledge, and immediately there, sure, you can coming out, great stuff, taking advantage of that invincibility. Couple down, so it's approaching with those neutralers. Scary stuff for Ryu, especially sitting at this percent. You get caught by one of those, you're most likely getting caught by another, and leading into a possible downer. Maybe even a sure you can, you never know. This is where things get a little bit dicey when you start looking at these percents, though. Locus has been going in pretty hard in the neutral following DSS, which allows DSS to bait him into dash attacks. Oh! Okay, yeah, DSS having fantastic smash the eye on all of these up tilts. Great awareness there from DSS, understanding Shoryuken is a move that can be spammed. Stopped, waited, let the other one come out, then finally got that punish, took him with the ladder, ending with the shuttle loop. Doesn't fall for the Xbox Live there. Nope. Just goes ahead, accepts the next input is coming, and prepares your punish ahead of time. Oh no, Locus, ah, subscription probably expired, so it's all good. <laughs> but we are moving on to the next game, guys. This is going to be a best three out of five, so... Sit tight, get ready, we're going on to game two, 2FD. Two Definitely an interesting pick if you want to neutralize the platform threat in terms of camping for DSS. That being said, I mean, the flat stage also does make DSS's own landing traps that much more potent. Ooh, oh, going for the neutral Ooh. air, gonna go ahead and extend gonna his own combo, again. going for the reset one more time, but didn't read the roll in correctly, gonna eat those down tilts, but hey, not too much person racked up on him. Forward smash, sending Locust right back out. Did you see the forward smash actually outrange uh, Ryu Nair? That's actually, I mean, forward air, that's great. Look, Meta Knight has a sword. It's somewhat of a disjoint. He just <laughs> gotta accept oh. it, but again, Meta Knight gonna have all those jumps being able to go ahead and come back the tech from DSS as well. Oh, oh we got a footstool! Not gonna be able to poke through instead. The Shriukin is the one that gets Locust back that stage. He control. actually lose the stock, and yes, he does. DSS picking him up straight in the air. Here we go. A very strong start for DSS, and especially considering last game where DSS started at a deficit and brought it back. Oh, never mind. Yep, that <laughs> is going to be it. I was gonna say, I like the fact that DSS is jumping up around Ryu, I'm trying to make sure he doesn't get caught by those up tilts off the ground, but it doesn't matter. The aerial Shoryuken, just enough to take away the stock regardless. Mm -hmm. Still, it's not as strong as the ground one, but it still packs a really big punch. Oh no, he got hit by another fair, leading into another one. The neutral layers is racking up a little more percent. I like the jab attempt, but not gonna get really anything out of it. Oh, gets the drag down and manages to punish the miss tech, but doesn't get to keep it going. And DSS recognizes it, disengages, gets caught by a grab. No, Still DSS has to be right. careful with those dash attacks. I like that. Coming in for the dash grab instead. Has Locust off stage. This is where he can do oh, quite a bit of work. That should have been a back there, there, but it didn't look like DSS was ready for the immediate Tatsumaki. And the thing about this is, of course, DSS recognizes a mistake in like punish, or if you go in too hard but too late, right? You eat a Shoryuken in this match. If you eat something really devastating, you can't afford those chances. Not when you're at 86%. I mean, sitting <laughs> exactly that, 86 now. He's trying to jump up again, trying to lead with these down airs, but still possibly getting clipped. Oh. And as I said it, he does another show you could coming up from Locust. 1-1. One, one. That was a really good follow by Locust, too, right? He recognized the DI away by DSS, so he did a dash first right before he did it. Well, additionally, he even had that air dodge, too. So he accounted for that as well, let him come down, and then let it rip. Yeah. Very, very good awareness. But basically a complete 180 from the ending of that stock. I mean, it was very close, very competitive, mm -hmm. as it was in that first game. But now we are at 1-1. One, one. 
what will be DSS's counter pick? I'm assuming Town. Mm, I don't know. With for Ryu, I feel like you would leave it on the table. It's. I mean, I, I think it's very likely that maybe Ryu left it on the table and DSS recognizes the threat of the Shuriken mm. as well, right? Whereas Lilat is a stage that DSS firmly believes is very Meta Knight favored, and I don't think the same can be said for Ryu. No. Uh, especially given the precision for some of Ryu's like lengthier confirms, the random-ish tilting of the ship uh, throws a monkey wrench into all of those. Yeah, understandably so. Focus coming in. Locus able to go ahead and land down to that stage. Now he has to deal with the possible ledge guard. No canceling. The focus attack, good stuff. Being able to get there, oh, but he's going to get scooped up one more time. That's going to be a stock. Yes, DSS only taking 8%. Very strong start. Lilat doing its business for him, helping him keep these juggles going. The platform's aiding sword characters so much because you just attack with your disjoints below them and it applies so much pressure. And DSS actually opting for the neutral there. Going for one more, trying to get any type of percent. And, ooh, I like that. Stalling at the ledge just a tiny bit with those aerials. And Locust is not ready for them at the moment. Trading one more time, jump away from the focus attack. I like that from DSS. Clipping him on that last one. This actually might be the stock. Good oh. DI from Locus, mixing it up quite a bit. Oh, I like that. Recognizing the focus and saying, I can let this tornado rip. You won't be able to punch through it. He's like, look, you can only get one hit out of it. As oh. I just said, one hit. But with the tornado again, even if he does for the cancel, it's going to clip him. I'm there the, the up, up smash. smash. Great call to seal out that game. And now DSS going up 2-1. And that was really good because the previous few landings, right, it was just F smash, F smash, F smash. It's like, okay, now that I know you th you're used to landing safely with focus and not eating a punish, here comes the up smash. I do have a multi-hit. I know that's something that Locus is going to have to look out for. He has a grin on his face right now. I don't know if he's, he's kind of excited. He's like, yo, I'm down. This is cool. Oh, maybe, maybe I can try to make this. Oh, I, now I, I understand what this is. It's the Bayogrin. <laughs> yeah, it's the Bayogrin. He's like, you know, I'm feeling the power. I got to make a couple people sad right now, but I already play Ryu, so it's not too big of a drop. -off. Sometimes the answer to a, to a bat is another bat, you know? Up throw. Going for up tilt. I think he's expecting some air dodge possibly, but DSS is jumping right away, catching with that dash stack into the tornado. A lot of percent. Oh man, that patience by DSS catching the very end lag of that up to I mean down tilt. Alright, dash attack with some good percent now. And Locus just trying to go ahead and get that ledge out of I, I haven't seen too much of Locus's bayonetta. Uh really? I I so, so what, what, cool. what separates him apart from like the other Bayos that we see? Uh, so far, it's, it's not any individual particular thing. It's just having the solid fundamentals, right? And being able to understand how to apply pressure well. Oh my god, the forward smash, though. Being able to clip out his leg on that back air. Very good trade for DSS. Yeah, no, that forward smash. Such a force to reckon with. Something you do not want to get hit by. And DSS DIing up. Locus ends up reading it, but unfortunately didn't get the correct hitboxes. I like that falling neutral air. Following the air dodge. Oh, oh no, DSS ended up pushing a button and just going to take a stiletto to the face. Waits for that. That's uh, Twitch time. Gets carried up, but DSS managing to SDI through it. Yeah, DSS still understanding where he can. can go ahead and push buttons, knowing when it is his turn. Oh, the oh. Does he have a jump? No! He's fine. Oh, he does, he does. Okay, okay. He's going to be carried. Okay. SDI straight up that time and uh, mixes up Locus that way. All right, put him right back up. Locus going for the frame trap off of that air dodge. Again, the jab's not going to catch him. Surprised that Locus didn't. Oh. Which time, as I was saying, and that not, not going to take the stock. Yeah, such low percent, even if you are facing the shorter end of Smashville. Going to still stay alive and oh, the, the spike. Jump, taking him all but the way it's down. All but it's <gasps> he did have his double jump. That was it. And DSS <laughs> takes it 3 1 over Locus. <laughs> Ever the fan of the Meta Knight Drill Rush, DSS letting it show shine. And those really, it's not often, but you know, you can turn an edge guard around.